Hello everyone, I'm Romy Christoph and today we're going to talk about rotation and revolution. These are the two major movements our planet uh, performs. The first one is rotation. This is actually the spin of our planet on its axis. This is imaginary line connecting both poles and the result of this is the change of the day and night. This part of the globe which is facing the sun will have light the opposite side will be in darkness. So this is the first movement. There is another one which is called a revolution. Revolution, this is the movement of our planet around the sun in elliptical orbit. We have to explain the reason for the seasonality. And the reason for the seasonality is the tilt or the angle of inclination. As you see, the globe is not straight, so it's tilted and the whole plane of the equator also is tilted, which uh, is the reason why some places they receive more light and heat and the others not. So what is the speed of the rotation? The speed of the rotation we can find dividing the path, which is 360 degrees, divided by 24 hours, and we'll find out that it's 15 degrees per hour. The revolution, takes longer so um, it's 365 and a quarter days and this quarter goes uh, to February every fourth year you know we add one day to February this is so called the leap year now we're going to talk about the four events and these are the equinoxes and solstices give me one second to adjust here the camera I would like to show you something what i prepared for you so first <clears throat> these four events they happened on the third week of the month and um, the day can vary it can be 21st 22nd and only one latitude can be at right angle with the sun rays and this is called direct sun you can see the sun rays and the surface 90 degrees this is the maximum possible sun angle and we call this direct sun so let's start with equinoxes they are very simple you see here the globe you have always to label the important lines with their latitudes the equator zero degrees then the tropics 23 and a half north and south then the circle 66 and a half north and south and 90 degrees north and south are the poles so what happens by equinoxes? The direct sun is on the equator, so it is at right angle with the equator. And here is the circle of illumination. The circle of illumination actually is the boundary between the uh, light and the dark part of the planet. And the circle of illumination cuts the Earth into two equal halves through the poles. So all the places on the planet on that day, they will have 12 hours daylight and 12 hours night. So here, when you make an equinox, you have to sh shade the part which is not facing the sun, the opposite side. And uh, remember that these are the rules, the direct sun on the equator and all the places on the planet will have equal day and night, the length of the day and night. Let's go now to the solstices. There are two solstices. Uh, and uh, one is in December, the other one is in June. You live in the Northern Hemisphere and you know that June is our summer and December is our winter. I prepared for you here an example of winter solstice, uh, which is uh, December 22nd. Remember, always the third week of the month. Now, by the solstices, the rule says that the direct sun is at right angle with one of the tropics where the summer is. And this is how you're going to work. If you have winter solstice, the name corresponds to the season in the northern hemisphere. So the winter will be in the northern hemisphere. So you will concentrate uh, in the southern hemisphere where you're going to put the direct sun. It's always on one of the tropics. You see you put an arrow and you put GS, which is direct sun, and then you have to put the circle of illumination. 
You see it runs in diagonal, it covers the northern pole and it opens the other one. So this will be here the shaded part. Let's go to the, the summer season in the southern hemisphere. So here is the direct sun and here is the land of midnight sun. So this is the pole area which will have 24 hours light on that day. It's between 66 and a half and 90 degrees south. There is no sunset there. 24 hours light on December 22nd. Next day, everything will be changed. So how long is the day here in the Southern Hemisphere? We know the length of the day on the equator. Something is equal there, right? And this is the length of the day and night. 12 hours day, 12 hours night, always. Because the circle of illumination, as you see, cuts the equator into two equal halves. Okay, but what about the other places here? We don't know. But uh, this will be the longest day of the year for all the locations between the equator and the pole area. The length of the day will vary with latitudes from 12 hours on the equator to 24 hours uh, in the pole area. So with a, a higher latitude, so the day uh, length will increase. So this is in the southern hemisphere where the summer is. Then let's go to the northern hemisphere. Everything is opposite there. They will have winter season and they will have the, the shortest day of the year. Look at the pole area between 66 and a half north and 90 degrees north. This will be the land of noontime darkness. 24 hours dark, no sunrise, no light at all on December 22nd. After that day, step by step, the light will move in, but on that day, there is a complete darkness. So this, these are the rules what you have to uh, memorize. And when you have to make one of the solstices, first you have to find the date. You know, if it's winter solstice, it will be December, the third week of December. If you have to uh, make summer solstice, everything will be opposite. The summer will be in the northern hemisphere and it will be, the day will be June 21st or 22nd. So everything what you put here in the southern hemisphere will go to the northern hemisphere. You will open also the pole area for 24 hours uh, and the land of midnight sun will be there. The summer will be in the northern hemisphere, the longest day of the year. So you just switch the information in both hemispheres. So I think this will help, it will be helpful for you when you make your homework assignment. Good luck to everyone. See you soon.